Stepping up to the couch, it's Brian, who led the league last season in cracked screens. But with his new athletic case, it looks like that won't be the case. <laughs> Touchdown, Brian! NBA Wednesday, presented by State Farm, continues from Portland. The Blazers with the fourth best record in the Western Conference at 31 and 20. They've won two in a row, five of their last six. Take on Utah, the Jazz with the seventh best mark in the West, and they've won nine out of ten coming into tonight. in the studio talking about the Anthony Davis situation. We'll touch on that as well throughout tonight's telecast as Ingles gets to the rim. Play for Joe Ingles, second longest active streak behind Carl Anthony Towns. Here's McCollum on the baseline. So good. Jersey in 2010. McCollum with Gobert on his hip. And that's a tough shot over one of the best. Good activity from both teams on the offensive end. Ball's moving, bodies are moving. Good screen by Gobert. I'll tell you, and that's what Rudy just a shot. Both squads three of three from the field here in the first two minutes of the game. Lillard four of three, around and down. Take a shot in the game. Had to play a lot of point guard because of injuries here in the month of January. And looking to get the rebound, Myers Leonard took a. Sh He'll talk about it. He's going to pull up, create enough separation from that big to get a look. Gobert gets it to go as Leonard. It doesn't read that way in the stat sheet. 65%, <laughs> 65%. Exactly. McCollum, wow, what a shot. Banking it. And now Al Farouk Aminu putting it in gear. Kicks to the corner. Leonard's three. You know. There's McCollum weaving through traffic, gets to the rim, floats it up and in. All NBA teams of five guys. The more guys at All-Star, the better for the fans, in my opinion. Here's Myers Leonard rattling down. Here's McCollum working on Mitchell. Pretty good matchup here. McCollum, he can't miss. A lot of points to put up against Utah. They're third in points allowed. And already Portland with 29 run that Utah has had to get themselves back into the equation in the playoffs in the West, Dave, as Lehman gets a three now. Especially over the last ten games, Utah's won nine of those. The only loss was at home to Portland. They've been number one defensively. Here's McCollum has been red hot. Scores again. He's eight for eight. The most first quarter points surrendered all season by Utah, and we still have 90 seconds to go. Favors underneath. From Collins from deep. That one's good. Ingles fires to Favors. Nice catch in traffic. Will he finish the quarter with a perfect shooting mark? Yes, he will. 20 point games. Giving him some punch along with Seth Curry. Rubio with a three ball. Maybe it was Zach Collins that made the mistake there. That's the reaction that McCollum gave. Here's Crowder underneath. O'Neal for three. It's good. What terrific. You know, next trade deadline if they want to. His contract's not up till 2020. And obviously if they don't make a deal as Lehman hits the seventh. CJ McCollum hasn't missed. Damian Lillard has 11 points, six assists. Lillard moving to his left, fires and hits again. He's got 10. Lillard now has 60 straight games with a made three. That's the longest active streak in the league. They've got eight made threes already. Make it nine. Tear. He's three of three from three-point range. O'Neal leaves it for Gobert, stuffs it. George on playing for the Thunder, and it worked out for them. Is there a chance that a team, as Lillard hits again? Go to Los Angeles, but to me, it feels obvious. Hey, what about Toronto? I mean, Toronto getting Kawhi Leonard. Lillard is recruited before their college years. Here's a steal by Donovan Mitchell. And he hammers it down. Court. Mitchell lost for Gobert, who stuffs it through. Gobert, nice catch. Goes up with the left hand. Now it's a difference in the clocks here. On the switch, it's Aminu trying to guard Mitchell. Here's Ingles for three. Got it. Oh, Gobert. And Rubio will pull it out to Mitchell. Steps into one and drains a three. Oh, 
Mitchell goes to the left hand. Beautiful finish. And enough space away sure. from Donovan Mitchell. Sure. Say, okay, make a commitment, defense. Great finish that time. 31 and 20, fourth best in the West. Mitchell goes at Leonard Come and on. gets that one. Acquisition of players is going to be different, I think, as well. Here's Harkless in transition, takes it all away and jams it. They have two series wins, so they've been able to at least advance in the postseason. They beat the Thunder last year, as we talked about. Leonard got Gobert off his feet and gets up high and slams it down. As McCollum fires away, no good. Batted out by Leonard for an extra possession. McCollum takes it inside and he puts it in. Harkless, wow! NBA, Utah is high on him. They think that he's got a chance to be a good NBA player. First round pick, 21st overall. Bear tried to kick it out. Good hands by Harkless, and now Lillard has it. Lillard to the rim, hangs, and it rolls in. Here's Allen with the floater, no. Now he gets a chance to make a three, and he does. Utah for college would have the fifth version of his own shoe. The Dame 5 coming out tonight. Agreed, but it, it is Allen for six straight years have gone 180 plus threes. He is a lights out scorer as a man who has coached him since he entered the league. I just, I, I love everything about him. His game, his humility, his hunger, his third. Donovan Mitchell has 22 for Utah. Turnovers, Jazz got within 10, but then seven Turnovers in the third. Good. Crowder fouled, and it's good. DJ McCollum got a triple double the other night. Is it yes. Lillard's turn? Lehman, nice finish in the paint. Opportunity to start early this year when Mo Harkless without uh, was out with injury, and maybe that helped his confidence. Wow, tough shot. Oh, he's got nine free throws. He could be there right now. That's a play on at this point of the game. Allen has it rejected. I'm picking the Rams. Picking the Rams. Going against the GOAT, Tom so, Brady. Saw him twice this year. Best team I saw. I'll say the start for the Blazers tonight. So, apparently, pregame coffee for all. You know, after tonight, again, Portland's got five days off. When, when is the last Man. time you've heard of that in the NBA? Curry. The notion that Terry Stott says, I'm not going to come in with a, a predisposition. You know, it's my job to coach the guy to the best of my ability. Uh, South and Eugene for the Oregon Ducks. But they, they're still close. They talk all the time. Here's Grayson Allen with a pull-up three. No good. Favors working hard on the glass, and he gets the putback. And make no mistake, these last nine days, they won in Salt Lake City. Quinn going to pull the plug here. F.A. Udo, Georgia. There's George. Teams tonight, obviously, to finish this thing out, they would become 15 and 16 against plus 500 teams. Curry from deep. Who scores? I like Neon, obviously. There's Baldwin. Allen cut off that angle. Baldwin pulls up and connects. Months of the year, and then, you know, they had that stretch of 9 of 10 at home. Now they get 8 of the next 11 at home. As Baldwin has it blocked by Udo. Here, but when he's had his chances, he's maybe building some momentum. There's Baldwin with a jumper. You can see Boston Utah will drop to 29 and 23. Is the half game ahead of the Clippers for the seventh spot in the West. And this is important too for tiebreakers because Utah and the Blazers split the season series with Portland winning tonight. 132-105. Lillard had